2019 release of Premiere Pro introduces update to essential sound panel with reduced reverb and reduced noise sliders. Let's have a closer look how they work in real life application. Hey, my name is Piotr Stoczyński, you can call me Peter. Cut to the Point channel is all about mastering film editing, about streamlining the editing process so you know what's the point of every cut you make in the story you want to tell. This is the fourth out of five videos about the new release and be sure to check out the first three videos as well and there will be a link to the last video at the end of this one. <laughs> okay, let's get started. The Essential Sound Panel got new improved algorithms for reducing reverb and noise. Inside of the panel these are only slider controllers which makes them extremely easy to use. But before we'll take a closer look at them let me stress one thing. I am not a sound guy but I know that these sliders are not you know the best solution on the market for reducing reverb and noise. These are designed for users who don't have ton of knowledge in this area and on the other hand don't have time and money for a professional sound editing. But these sliders apply to a clip as effects and if you edit these effects you can have much more control over the results. For me it's a very useful tool because in most cases I work on the sound myself and as I said I'm not a sound guy. <laughs> so it will make my life easier, therefore I have a right to be excited. Okay, that's enough time to show these sliders in action. I have the footage of the first video I recorded in this office when it was all empty and river was huge. Let's see how far can we go with this new slider. If I would have more tracks here, for example some sounds effect, a soundtrack, I would hit that S icon first, which isolates this track. We first need to select the footage and inside essential sound panel we need to choose dialect for this clip. Then in the repair section there is a slider for reducing reverb. Before I preview the file I will make sure I have a loop activated. And now let's start it. Is my most okay, that's how it sounds with value of 5. Let's bring it down. As I've said in my Lumetri color tutorial, luminescence saturation... Okay, and let's try to reduce noise as well. ...curve is my most wanted upgrade to this effect. And let's see before and after. As I've said in my Lumetri color tutorial, luminescence saturation curve is my most wanted upgrade to this effect. As I've said in my Lumetri color tutorial, luminescence saturation curve is my most wanted upgrade to this effect. Okay, it works, that's the way to go with this tool. And if you want to have more control, you can go to effects control panel and you can enter these effects and there is much more control, much more things to tweak, to play with. But again, I'm not a sound guy, so I will not show you how to do it because I'm not an expert in this area. So do you think these sliders will be useful in your workflow? Let me know down in the comments. There are a lot of links in the description you may want to check out, including the link to Premiere Pro product page. Please subscribe if you're serious about video editing and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on new videos. And if you'd like to get notified about them to your inbox, you can join my mailing list. You'll also get a package of bonuses after you join. It was Peter, until the next time shoot and edit like there is no tomorrow.